I came out of uh, high school, I did, I tried college and, I, and it wasn't for me. But at that point, I had no other avenues, no, nothing else to go by. I didn't know where to go to start a trade and I had no one to tell me that it was just as good or better pay than college yeah, education. So I'm currently in my last class on my apprenticeship program. It's been four years and everything's working out great. The stereotype, if you've never done this, is, you know, tradesmen are not as intelligent as people who go to college, which is totally not true at all. I know a lot of guys who are very smart, very intelligent. They just don't test well. They get nervous, end up failing the test, and they think it's a reflection on themselves, which is not the case, because those guys are very smart. I was an electronics technician in the Coast Guard, and so all the training that I received in the Coast Guard transitioned fairly easy into the civilian world. I was able to skip the first year and a half, two years of the electrical apprenticeship. So the apprenticeship classes are held in the evenings after work. And uh, a lot of your training is gonna be on job site training. So during the day you're with your mechanic. So you're actually getting to see what you've learned in the book be applied during the day. So you, you'll have your aha moments. And it helps you become a better electrician. the career path that I've chosen. It's, it's given me an opportunity to purchase my first home by the time I was 30. Um, I had lived in apartments until I graduated high school. So to bring my daughter home the first day she was born to her own house, that was, I felt really accomplished. I was very, very emotional that day too. Becoming an electrician definitely helped me obtain that goal. I do want a boat one day. I would like to just retire comfortably, have my 401k, stacked up real nice and chill. Some characteristics of a good electrician is a willingness to continue learning. I mean, the trade's constantly growing. So we're training electricians, HVAC techs, and plumbers to get a little bit of cyber awareness so they can lock down these systems because every building is connecting their systems to the internet. And every building has internet of things devices. So instead of having the tech come in here and monitor these different systems, they now can connect through the internet, but you've now introduced a danger. All these systems, they were never ever meant to be connected to the internet. Many people may remember the Target hat they actually went through the HVAC vendor, affected 33 million people. Just give it a try. I mean, if you don't like it, there's always something else that you can try. If you were to change trades and you've invested in tools, those tools will roll right over with you to another trade. It's not like you're, you're losing any money. You may have lost a little bit of time, but in the long scheme of things, when you're 67, what's two, three months? I mean, I love my job. Being an electrician, it's fun. I mean, it's dirty some days, and then some days it's really clean. We call that easy work. <laughs> With what we do, is you always run into something different every day. You see something new, and it's exciting, and it's not always the same thing. So I really enjoy what I do. I feel like my future is bright.